Hey guys, Richard here for the School of Nomads. So in this review, I want to talk to you about a product called Designer. Now Designer has been out for a while now. It's by Paul Clifford. And in a nutshell, it's a piece of software that allows you to create eBooks and other types of lead magnets by bringing content from places like blogs, from Facebook pages, from PDFs, from Word documents, and even from videos directly into the system and then gives you a nice range of templates that you can use to go ahead and make your lead magnets. So if you're looking for something like this, stick around, I'm gonna take you through the whole product. I'm gonna show you around, I'm gonna give you a nice demonstration, and then you can use this review to make a more informed decision before you go ahead and purchase. Just before we start guys, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to our channel before, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll let you know whenever I release new videos just like this one, and guys, if you're looking to start a business online, go ahead and check out the link to the School of Nomads below, and I'll take you through the whole process step by step. So I'm gonna take you through the product. We'll go through the members area. I'll show you the sales page and go through a couple of points on the sales page. We'll go through the upgrades and I'll tell you the different upgrades this has got. I'll show you what's not so good about this product, what's good about the product, and then I'll kind of give you my summary so you've got a more informed decision if you decide to go ahead and purchase this. So on the sales page, in essence, what they're saying is that you can create an ebook in minutes. You get a free commercial license with this so you can create an ebook for others as well. You've got 100 project templates. You can publish unlimited ebooks. It's very easy to use and the 750 Google font. So lots of flexibility here. What I'll do just before we jump into the members area itself, I'll show you the three-step process they've put together. So basically, as I said, what this allows you to do is grab content from places like blogs and websites or even Facebook pages and posts and bring them into the system. And then it allows you to actually review that and look at the formatting, look at the paragraphs, add some things like images. And then once you've done that, you go ahead and choose one of their templates and they've got a good variety of templates in here. And then you go ahead and tweak and tune this, and then you can publish it in a variety of ways. So you can see here, you can publish it as a PDF, as a Word file, as actually a flip book. One of the upgrades is being able to produce a nice flip book, or actually even on Amazon Kindle. So there's a variety of ways that you could go ahead and publish this. So let's jump into the actual membership area itself, and I'll show you around. So here I am over on the membership area. So the first thing you'll see is, any projects that you've already worked on will be on this front screen here. So these are a couple that I was actually looking at earlier. And I can go in here obviously and just preview and, and edit these once I start putting information in here. So there, the kind of first thing is the projects. Then you have my drafts. So you have your media manager here, which I'll come back to. You got a place there where you can go ahead and be an affiliate for designer. You can go ahead and promote and, and apply for that here and then over here you've actually got your training so i'm going to show you the upgrades but you've got your help and documentation piece here which allows you to go into the training and there's lots of different documentation here and tutorials that you can go through but there's also an actual video series of training in here so they're the kind of documents that you've got in here to help you out if i just come back to projects you'll see here if i hit this help this brings up all of the various training that they've actually put together to help you lose the system. So if you click on this again, you come into here and again, you find all the various videos and all the various paperwork. So there's lots of help on here. The training is really good. This first video just takes you through the whole system and explains the whole process. And then there's a nice little function here. This record button actually allows you to record something on your screen and send it directly to them. If you have any issues, they've got a ready-made help function in here that'll allow you to actually record what's going on. So I thought that was a really nice touch as well. So if I actually wanted to create a project, I could come over here and just hit create project here. And then I've got a variety of ways that I can actually bring the information here. So step one is actually bringing the information into the system. So I can import from a blog, import from a Word document, import from a Google file, or start from just a template and actually just fill in the various blanks myself. I can also start completely from scratch or I can import from a Facebook page. Now there is some other functions here that are actually locked depending on the level of membership you have. They include the fact you can merge drafts, you can transform a PDF to a flickbook, you can import from a podcast, you can import from a PDF, import from a video 
and import from a Facebook group or start from a Facebook Live. So lots of different options there. I'll show you the actual upgrades in a second. Now, what I wanna do is I'll just show you one from a blog. Now, all I need to do here is actually import from a blog post URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a URL of a blog post. Now, this is Backlinko. This isn't my blog, so I'm not gonna actually use this information. This is a really, really good blog and it's very detailed. So I wanna use this as kind of my example because this is a lot of information this is gonna to have to bring onto this platform. So if I hit just hit fetch there and let it bring in that information and you can see straight away it's brought that in. So if I, if I hit next, what happens now is I have to come along and actually pick a template. So I just come anywhere around here and I can use them or actually preview them. So for the purposes of this, I'll just preview a couple. Let's just preview that as a PDF. So you can see here, you've got a, a cover page You've got the actual content pages here, and then you've got the end page. Now, the only thing I will say about these templates is they are very, very basic. Now, I, I did uh, another review on something called Scribble, and I felt the templates in that one were slightly more detailed, and there were slightly more pages in them that I could go ahead and utilize. So these are a little bit basic compared to that, but they're still very, very good quality. Let's choose another one, it's just random one here. Again, just a simple two page of this one. So you would come through here and you would actually just find one that you like and you you want to use. So let's go and find one and actually use it. Digital marketing white column. Let's preview this. Again, that's a two pager. Let's go just go and use this one. So this is the actual post brought into the system. And basically you just need to come through here and use the editors on the left hand side here edit all of this content. So you would change things around, you would add pages. There's lots of things you can do here. You can change all the text. It's the usual thing with these types of editors now. They're all pretty much the same. You've got full options around the types of fonts you want. You can change the images and add images to these various locations. You can change all of these headings. So if you right click, you can actually change the order of the pages if you want to move them up and down and then you just click on the various elements to actually start adding things. So you see here on the left hand side, there's lots and lots of different options for you to come along here and actually start changing all of these different pages. You can also add more pages if you want by just hitting the plus here and you can come in here and you can add either more content, um, new pages, you can add an inline CTA. So if you wanted a call to action here, I can just put one in anywhere I want and then go ahead and put a call to action in that particular space. So lots and lots of di different things you can do here. It's the usual type of editing, very, very similar again to the last product I did that was an ebook and gives you a lot of flexibility here. So this is a piece that takes time. So when they say that, you know, you can bring things in from different locations, yeah, you can bring the bulk of the content in, but you're still gonna spend several hours coming through here and actually going through this and making it all look good. That, that's at the end of the day, that's what you have with all of these different types of editors. So it's not as quick as they kind of make out, but you know, for the flexibility of editing for these types of things, it is really, really good. So if I wanted to publish this, again, I'm not gonna spend this review actually going through the whole thing, but if I publish this, I could give this a title. Let's give it an author, my awesome ebook and then we're going to publish it as a PDF and then I'll export and we'll just say okay I'll pause this while it actually takes time to create the PDF okay so here's my PDF I changed the, uh, the color on this top page to red so maybe I should have done that and there you see all of the information is here and then I could share that to my various customers or give it away as free as on a landing page, whatever I wanted to do with it. So pretty easy to use, you know, as far as the editing is concerned, they are a little bit clunky usually because there's a lot of options and features there, but as far as getting the information to come through, um, again, pretty easy to use. Okay, so the other thing you could do, which I thought was a nice little feature was on the media manager, you could actually go ahead and search for images. So if I wanted to search for, uh, say, funny cats, and add those images to my ebook. It'll go off and it'll go to places like Pixabay and look very quickly, bring me some cats in. That's not a cat. <laughs> the, 
bring some cats in and go ahead and use. And it's got a nice editing function on the actual platform as well, which is a nice bonus. So I can come in here and I can actually start editing various things on this picture, including things like cropping it, resizing it. I can draw some various things on it. And once I've done that, when I save, it'll actually bring that picture into the platform so that I can use that on my ebook. So I thought that was a nice little function because again, on the last one I did scribble, I didn't see that functionality there. So there you go, there's the image on the actual platform. So really good, you, you know, you can use this. Again, I can go and grab an image from a URL as well. If I go back to this blog, so we'll look at this image, copy the image address, come back, and there you go. That, and that just brought that image directly in from that URL. Edit that, I can see that image straight away. So that's really quick. And you know, as long as these images are yours and you can use the content from these blogs, etc., this is a really quick way to get content in the system. So I want to take you through the various upgrades on the system because the functionality is pretty simple on the front end, but it is only $27. So it's, you know, you are getting enough here to produce nice lead magnets. So there is enough functionality there, but there's various upgrades. So if I look at this actual plan here and you get Basically, you have a number of ways that you can get upgrades. You can have a pro license, a premium license, and then some kind of agency premium license. Now, the the standard is um, 100 project templates, one user, create unlimited eBooks, unlimited use of copyright free images, paper number and table of contents, import from web, Microsoft Word, and Google Docs. So you can see there that there's some limited functionality there. Now the pro version, which is either a monthly or a yearly, and $97 is 200 plus templates, 200 plus cover designs, which would be nice to actually show some nicer colored cover designs, 3D cover imaging tools. So you could actually put these on websites and, and show a, a nice an image of, of the particular lead bank that you were giving away, create unlimited eBooks, unlimited use of copyright images, number page numbering. Um, but you also can actually import from a PDF and export as a Kindle an iBook, EPUB, and a Flipbook. Now, a Flipbook is a really nice functionality on here. It looks really cool when you have things that are being imported as Flipbooks. And then you can import from any Facebook page. And then the premium, 297, the additional functions there is you can get any PDF and actually turn it into a Flipbook, which is a nice thing to do. You can publish to any website, and there's an eBook mock-up generator you could use for things like Kindle. And again, the last one, which is a, a premium agency license, also allows you to create custom templates. So again, you could use this and actually create custom templates for others. So again, just a quick recap, the front end is $27, the professional version is $97 or $19, $19 per month, and the premium version is $297. And then you saw there was an, there was an agency license on top of that as well. Now the cons on this, um, it takes a while to edit. All of these things take a while to edit. It, they obviously sell it as something that is quick to bring in the information, which it is, but they all take a while to edit and get right and make sure everything is nicely formatted. Some of the templates seem a little bit basic to me, especially compared to the front end of Scribble. I'll actually put the link to that particular review down below as well, just so you can do a comparison. But they are nice quality, so it's, it's not a big deal, but they, they just seem to have a few additional pages in the Scribble ones. And for the slightly nicer, features you do need to upgrade at least to that pro version i would say so that you get additional ways you can bring information in and you can produce things like flipbooks now the pros i do like the quality of the templates it's the editors easy to use once you get used to all of there's so much functionality on there once you get used to that it's reasonably easy to use there is a commercial license included you can produce unlimited ebooks there's lots of design options there is more actual templates than you get on the front end of scribble uh, it is a one-time cost. There is a really nice image search feature. And, and the last thing on here really is this product has been around for a, quite a few years now and they are a well-established company. It is something that is going to be maintained by the company themselves. So I'd be quite happy to use this myself. So in summary, this is a high quality ebook design software. It's very easy to use. Uh, it can be used for many types of lead magnet. And I'm going to give this eight out of 10 really because I do think this is a nice piece of software and that if you wanted to produce lead magnets for your particular business, this is definitely something that you could use to do that. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you find that review useful. If you are interested in this product, I will leave a link in the description below for you to go and check it out. 
My name is Richard Darby, this is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to our channel before, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification bell and I'll let you know whenever I release new reviews just like this one. And guys, if you're looking to start a business online, go ahead and check out the link to the School of Nomads below and I'll take you through the whole process step by step. Until next time guys, take care.